Welcome back, JC here. Here's how to connect the X8R receiver to the SP Racing Mini Fly Controller. I'll be leaving links to my X8R, SP Racing Mini, and Trans playlist in the top right of your screen and description below, so check those out for other helpful videos. On the SP Racing Mini Fly Controller, here are the input pins, and uh, it's the pins, you know, close to these two switches. If we look on the back side, we will see where it says PPM, 5 volt ground, 5 volt R1 and T1. R1 and T1 are also the receive and transmit for UART number one. We will be using this in SBUS mode and SBUS requires a UART port, but specifically it requires a receive on a UART port. So that is why our signal wire will be going to R1. On this side, it looks something like this. R1 is the next to last pin power right beside that and ground next to that. I just soldered on a three wire servo cable but you can connect it however you want. You can use pin headers and just uh, plug it in like this end to the pin headers. It's completely up to you. Now on the X8R, uh, normally this would be set up in PWM mode which would require a signal wire for each and every one of these eight channels plus a power wire plus a ground wire so a minimum of 10 wires for only 8 channels but what us multi-rotor guys like to do is use SBUS which this is also capable of you'll see this diagram here showing signal towards the inside then positive and then ground on the outside and it's referring to these three pins down here so I will take this three wire servo cable and plug it in in the same order with the white wire, which is signal towards the inside, ground on the outside. Now for telemetry. Telemetry also requires a UART port, and it actually more specifically takes a transmit on a UART port. Now I know we still have T1 available right here, but UART ports can only do one thing at a time, and we are already using it as a receive for the receiver. So we have to use a different UART port. Over here we have UART 3, and you do also have UART number 2 over here, but I'm using UART 3. And if you look on the back side, you'll see up here, um, on the very edge, R3, which means this pin is receive for UART number 3. Then below that is T3 for the transmit. We'll be using the pin T3, and this is what it looks like soldered on. This wire, I just spliced in a single servo connector, and if we go back to the X8R, on the back side, we will see another diagram for the smart port, which is these three pins here. So uh, where the S is, which is the pin towards the outside, that is where the smart port wire will go, and it will look something like that. Now I know we still have the positive and negative pins here, but you don't actually want to use that. The reason for that is because we are already getting power and ground from the front side. So you don't want two different power sources. Now with everything wired up, we just want to plug in a USB cable, which will power the flight controller and receiver both. At this point, if you have not yet bound your receiver, you need to go ahead and do that. Uh, just look in my X8R or Tyrannus playlist and you will find a video on how to do that. I've already bound mine, so once I turn my transmitter on... Hey JC, welcome back. Cheat mode active. And now I get the solid green light, meaning that it's properly bound and everything is working. Once you get the solid green light, we can move on. So if we go into Betaflight and connect... First, let's go to Ports. And because we put the SBUS wire on UART number one, uh, we want to turn off MSP because like I said earlier, UARTs can only do one thing at a time. Then come over to RX and turn on serial RX for UART one. Then we place the telemetry wire on UART number three. So come over here to telemetry. And even though this is a free sky receiver, this is the different types of telemetry and the X8R uses smart port telemetry. So choose Smart Port, then Save and Reboot. Now go to Configuration, scroll down, and we want to choose RX Serial because we are using SBUS. 
Then come down here and choose what type of serial, which is SBUS. Scroll down some more and turn on telemetry. Then save and reboot. Everything should now be working, so let's test it. Uh, move your joysticks around. Roll pitch, yaw, and throttle should be moving on your screen. If you created any switches, you can test those out now. Things are about to get real. Hybrid mode. Stunt mode active. Cheat mode active. Okay, everything's working. Now in the Tyrannus, you want to press menu to go to your model. Hold down the page button to go backwards a page to telemetry. Scroll down and discover new sensors. After it's done, press enter again to stop discovery and here's all of your sensors. If you're getting all of these sensors, then you are now done with this video. If you are only getting four sensors, then I'll explain why. Your telemetry actually comes from two different places, the flight controller and the receiver. If you only get four sensors, those sensors are actually coming from the receiver, which means that your telemetry is not working. And it's not halfway working, it's not working at all. As long as your receiver is getting power, then you will always get those four sensors, even if the telemetry wire is not connected to anything. So to fix this, the uh, only, really the only possible cause is uh, you just overlook something. So go back, check your wiring, check all your configuration changes in beta flight or clean flight, make sure everything's saved. And uh, like I said, it's, it's always a simple little, you know, you just overlook something. That's it guys, so check out those other playlists for the helpful videos, and I will see you there.